Hearts Lock Challenge. Previously, we made it to the Indigo Plateau with our team of six. So let's have a quick look at who we have with us. Riptide, the Melodic, on level 41. Jemima, the Muck, on level 41. Aragog, the Aria Dose, on level 42. Orgai, the Pidget, on level 43. Slackjaw, the Explod, on level 42. And Gaia, the Gyarados, on level 43. We have a very odd uh, selection of Pokemon for our team. Okay. 
Sends out a mischievous. Okay, Destiny Bond is uh, a real threat here. Mean look, oh dear. Oh my goodness, mean look, bearish song. Hopefully, it's a three hit KO, not two hit KO. Uh, we might be wrecked here. <laughs> Confused, right? Hang on, that's better than bearish song. Mischievous has a lipstick on. It's kind of weird. 
Lost with her Destiny Bond and her bear song after the seal. Should have just swapped it out. I forgot it was Dark type, which I guess resists poison. Unless Ghost type resists poison. Oh, we got the poison. That's pretty handy. Side beam. Oh, dear. Ah, okay, easy. We can take that. And we snap out of confusion. I don't think it's going to get knocked out this turn. Yeah, one more turn. Nope, the poison got it. Alright, I thought the poison would have left it on a little bit of health. My mistake. Ampharos. Yep, let's swap to Aragog, our resident electric killer. At least it can't be Maker Ampharos. Would have nothing to do with then on Dragon Range, I guess, but all I can do was Dragon Range normally, I suppose. Thunder Wave. Annoying. Really wish you wouldn't. Thunder Wave again. Yep. And paralyzed. Is it worth Thunder Punch? Shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Aragog can take electric moves all day, pretty much. Alright, thank you, paralyzed. We'll be fine. Even with such a strange team, strange set of moves and everything, you can still get wonders out of um, out of your Pokemon, you know, if you just use your strategies. Alright, Crobat, I would use Aragog's Rock Slide. But it's paralyzed and trying to uh, not use too many items unnecessarily. Focus is flinching anyway. Uh, let's try a surf. Critical hit. Does it? Air cutter. No, I don't think it does. That's air slash makes you flinch. Air cutter must be high critical hit ratio, I guess. We're just gonna go the normal way and attack it with a bunch of surf. Till we get confused, please break through. I wish I had status moves of my own, I really do. But we should be able to take it out with this surf. Critical hit. I don't think that one mattered. Decent amount of experience as well. Sea drill. Okay. Um, just water type. So we will swap into. No. Let's go Riptide. And we'll just start using a bunch of Fury Cutters, I think. Start boosting on me. What a punk. Twister, not gonna do too much. Nothing at all. What? Oh, see, you guys pull this point since when? <sighs> I guess I haven't seen a Cedra used in that long. It's usually Kingdra. Oh, same little cup. Poison point for crying out loud. It's a seahorse. Stay in. Use it for restore. Oh, but that already said fear cut on. Damn it. Well, that's okay. Let's use it for restore because we can buy plenty of the league now. I don't have anything to hit Blastoise with super effectively anyway. and I wasn't boosted by rain, so the protector's annoying though. Big 
because it resets my Fury Cut Up. So I'm going to be doing like that much damage every time if he keeps using Protect. And why wouldn't you keep using Protect when you have nothing to hit me with? Protect, but Rain Dance, and I'm guessing a Water Move, but he doesn't want to seem to use that for some reason. Rain Dance. So what, Protect this turn again, is it? Are we going to use Bite and actually attack me? No, didn't go for Protect, so it must be Bite coming my way. <sighs> as long as it doesn't Protect. Okay, good, we finally take it out. Wasted like all of the PP and Fury Cutter though. Cool Trainer Thomas defeated. I had a chance. Yeah, not really. I know what I'm doing, son. I've been working with this team since like round one. Alrighty. Strength puzzles. then I suppose it's going to hurt more but whatever Jamar Red Guy gains 730 experience Eagly Buff is going to come out or just smack it around with an arm thrust hopefully no cute charm myself. Sweet kiss. So I'm confused as well. Oh my god. Alright. How about no? Walk guy, just quick attack it. Next turn. Defense girl. Alright, so quick attack's not gonna kill him now, I don't think. So we'll just wing attack. Same set though. They had uh, 
usual, the usual set was uh, so make a Genghis Khan so you can get the uh, parental bond. Don't endure this, come on. Um, yeah, they'd have a fake out for the double fake out hit. I didn't like that though, I thought it was pretty cheap, so I never used it. I thought it made it way too OP. Uh, then next was Sucker Punch. Assume real. That's swap. Sucker Punch. Um, power Up Punch, because you get the double boost. And... Fake Out, Sucker Punch, Power Up Punch. I think... Oh, Return, yeah. Return was the next... Was the fourth move. The set I ran with was... Sucker Punch, Power Up Punch, Return, and Outrage. Um, for super effectiveness and really high base power and you know really high base power and parental bond is a good match and you know after a few power punches there's not a lot that's going to be standing up to a couple of outrages and the uh, the confusion wasn't really much of a problem because Genghis Khan when it's built to be an attacker like mine was um, you know it's probably not going to be living very long anyway, so the confusion's not really going to turn out to be much of a problem. Let's see if we can hit this Jolteon with a dig. Very nice. I should take it out. Jolteon's pretty frail. But dig is frail. Let's go for another... Oh, I should have just attacked it then, shouldn't I? while I'm underground. Oh, no. Okay. Well, good girl, Erica. Breaking through when I need you to. Okay. Pretty decent experience there. While. What do we have? We have Dig. That'll be super effective. Faint attack. Don't do too much. Oh, good. Does like Swap out into Good eye. Yeah, um, go for an arm thrust. And we cut this thing's. Oh no, we don't. Okay, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. We'll just hit it with an arm thrust now. Okay, we're not going to kill it this turn, I don't think, unless we get five. But when do we ever get? Five. Right now, of course. Don't arc foolish. That should be a level for someone at least. Nope. Not enough because they split it. But we'll take out the juggler Antoinette. Is anybody poisoned? I thought Reptile got poisoned before. I must have healed. Oh yeah, that's right, I used a full restore. Let's use a Max Repel back up this way. Find this Ombre over here. Excuse me. Face me. Come on, I'll whip you. Tamer Webster would like to battle. Sends out another Butterfree. Okay, why is everyone in Victory Road using Butterfrees? Is there some sort of uh, policy that I haven't heard about. Oh, come on, two. You're the worst. Stop whirlwinding my Pokemon out. You're spreading out the experience points unnecessarily, and so nobody gets anything, pretty much. <sighs> A-bombs coming out. Let's swap into Slack Jaw. Everyone's looking pretty low on health, to be honest. Dookie dookie, let's hit it with a body slam. Slam. Slack 
strategy, I guess. Alright, so I shouldn't get to paralyze this turn. If we can get three, we can kill it. Okay, it won't be three. If we can get four, we can kill it. And of course, we get two, so I have to take another body slam, at least. And now it's like eight body slams that I have to take. have a scope lens on Gaia, which is pretty damn cheeky. I think I do. Must have put it on there ages ago for, uh, specifically for arm thrust, I guess. Stantler, another bulky normal type. Get our attack cut. That's not good. Let's swap out. On second thoughts, let's go into Riptide. Has the most health and defense, probably. Has the most bulk, basically. Why 
Another one to go. Jemima's getting pretty strong now. Rich Ice. Um, no fire moves. We have fighting. I guess that'll have to do. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I was gonna put, um, gonna put Orkai out there with Ancient Bell, but probably not a good idea against a Fallen Ice Legendary. start eating like three to five times and not two because I'm real sick of it to be honest. Easy way. 
episode there. if this wasn't the most thrilling episode uh, but I feel like a lot of you would be glad to see the series extend a little bit so what will happen next episode is I'll start with a sped up grinding montage where I aim to get all my Pokemon to level 50 so we've got 43, 43, 42, 43, 43 and 44 so we don't have a lot of grinding to do It'll definitely help me if I can use the speed up button to get through some of those battles. I'll record the whole thing and put it sped up uh, at the start of the battle and I'll slow it down if anyone faints or anything drastic happens like that. And then uh, after the short montage at the start of the next episode, we'll go and take on the league I suppose. So I'd like to thank you for joining me for our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge today. We're nearing the end of our journey, and I'm starting to get pretty tense, to be honest. I hope to see you next time.